Hi, I'm Lel from Made by Marley and today we're going to be making vintage signs and I'm going to be showing you how to make them all chippy using a new technique that I've never used before. So if you're interested in doing any of these things, just follow along. I started with a piece of wood. It was just a piece I had. It was off an old bed and what I did was I banged it and hit it off things. I scuffed up the edges. I put nail holes into it just to give it that it's not it's not a brand new piece of wood look you know something that's been around for ages now I'm painting it you're probably wondering why I'm using such a small brush but I'm using a small brush so that I can get down in at all the dents and chips that I've made so that the colors down in there so I'm making sure that I've done that the piece of wood I had had like a kind of block at the bottom um, and I thought that gave it a little bit more interest for a sign so I, I chose that piece you can see what I'm doing with my brush strokes. What I'm doing is I'm not tidying them up. I'm keeping lots of texture in the paint I'm using. The paint I'm using is a little bit of plaster of Paris, um, some acrylic paint and a little bit of water. And that's how I'm painting this. There was a slight sheen on it, so I'm going to have to make sure that I seal it. But with putting the plaster of Paris in this paint, it's when it's on, it's on kind of thing. So this is my base coat. I'm just making sure that I do on my sides because this is going to go on my greenhouse and you're going to be looking at it from all sides. The weekend project um, that Martin and I, um, the other half of Made by Marley did at the weekend is we um, clad our greenhouse with old sash windows and this is a sign to finish it off. So what I'm doing now is I'm just putting lots of splodges of colour onto the board so that when I do the next step some of these colours will show through. Now, I read this in a blog, and I've never done it before, that if you rip off little bits of paper and put them across your bits of wood, the, the, sh the chippy bits that you want the colours to show, and just apply it with water and then let it dry and paint it and you can pick them off. I've never done this. This is not how I normally do chippy signs. I normally do them with a heat gun and some Vaseline and lots of different things. But I thought I'd try this one because I can, it's one I can do in the studio. Um, so here I am now, I'm just getting all my little ripped pieces of paper and I'm putting them all over the board. You'll see later on they were quite tricky to actually find at the end of the day and although I did like this effect, I think there's other ways you can make wood look chippy other than this way, but it is another way of doing it. Now what I'm doing is I'm getting acrylic and I'm painting over the pieces of paper. Now you'll see when I apply the acrylic I applying it, I'm applying it really thick and I'm doing in a sort of cross hatch pattern so that there's thick bits and thin bits on my board because if you want a board to look like it's been painted over and over again and it's peeling and it's got chips in it, you need to apply your paint thick and in all different directions to give it that it's been painted more than once sort of feel. If you paint it lovely and smooth, that's not how old wood, wood looks. Um, so what I'm doing here is you can see some of that green slightly wasn't dry so I'm kind of trying to avoid that and I'm still putting it on in this sort of crosshatch, lots of thick bits, a lot of thin bits all over my little pieces of paper and the bits of colour that I put on previously. Um, that was one bit there that came off so I just kind of stippled some bits over it just so I could still have the colour. I'm making sure that I do all the edges because the edges are the bits that give away whether it's a new piece of wood or an old piece of wood. I've let it dry and this is me. I've just, I've been doing it for a while. I just didn't think you'd want a whole section of the video of me peeling the bits off. But all the colours from underneath are starting to come through. I'm just using a little clay tool with a pointy end. There's a close up of how it looks with all the chips. It did work quite well actually when you see it the way it, it is. I made a stencil on my Cameo silhouette, but you can use just an ordinary Mylar stencil or you can hand paint onto these. Before I had a silhouette, I used to hand paint all my signs, but this is just a quick way of doing it. So I've just used the contact um, shelf lining paper that you get, um, which is much cheaper than using your vinyl, and I've just cut it out of that. I'm just doing a sort of garden-y sort of word so it's about you know Sutton's as a seed company so I'm just doing Sutton's and just made the rest up um quality for growers kind of thing you know what I want because I'm thinking about you know where this is going to finally go which is my greenhouse so um I'm just flat brushing it 
I'm doing the pouncing way. I do a stencil lots of different ways, but for this, because it's got lots of holes and chips in it, I'm using a flat brush and I'm pouncing down into the the paint. And I'm making. I made very sure that my stencil was completely flat on and stuck to the piece of wood before I stenciled it, cause to make sure that I didn't get any um, bleeding underneath my stencil. I'm removing my stencil, which has come out nice, and I'm just weeding out all the pieces in between my words just to finish that off it came out quite nice so I was quite happy with that um, I'm just grabbing all the little bits so that's our words on and now next I'm gonna I, I cut out my some roses from a piece of napkin which I took the plies off the back to be left with just the image on the front and they were of roses and they go with the sign that I'm trying to create for my greenhouse if you kind of think about a napkin of what you want to put on it, it they're always really good for making things look really quite slick and i'm just applying my flowers onto my board and um, mud podge on the bottom the napkin on the top and a big coat of mud podge on the top of it and paying particular attention to the edges so that when this because this is going to be outside in all weathers and i don't want the flowers lifting off you can't see me right now on camera, but what I'm doing is I'm applying a flower to the other side. That's me moved it over so you can see it. It's quite a big piece of wood, so there's quite a lot of bits that it's not always on camera. I'm going around all my edges and you can see I'm putting a lot of Mod Podge on it. I'll give you a close up of this in a couple of minutes and you'll see just how much Mod Podge I actually put on, which was a lot. And it's the hard coat Mod Podge, which makes it extra durable. I'm putting some on that little ledge that just happened to be on my sign. So, so far it's looking aged, it's looking chippy. I'm happy with it. Um, I'm just gluing on the rest of these flowers to make it look like they were originally on the sign. Making sure that I put plenty on. And you, you'll see in a minute, I actually go back over it again with Mod Podge once I've done it. And I do it again actually off camera. So it's I had three maybe even four generous coats. This is me just going over the whole thing again of Mod Podge. And I, I then I let it dry completely. Um, it was warm in the room, so it was drying pretty quickly. So I just kept coating it over and over again. Um, really making sure that everywhere that's going to be exposed, this is going to be varnished and sealed. So I'm not too worried about it now that it's had quite a lot of protection. So there you are, you can see quick zoom in of of how it looks. Now I'm taking a little bit of sandpaper and my clay tool and I'm scraping away some little bits on my writing because I don't want it to look like it's just been it's it's been just put on there. You know, if it was an age sign it would be chipped like everywhere else. It would be worn in places and that's what I'm doing. I'm just wearing out some of the words, making them look less sharp on the edges, softening them down a bit. Now this is quite entertaining. I have some old um, varnish which has literally gone off, it's turned yellow but I keep it because it's perfect for yellowing up wood um, and aging things. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going running it along the edges, running it along the decals of the flowers, some of it in between the words and now I've got a dark stain and what I'm doing now is I'm just putting some dark in it and I'm rubbing it back with my hands just to give it that aged particular attention at the edges. Um, I'm making sure that I get it right down into the where the dirt would have settled in the sign and I'm rubbing it back. Make sure you do your edges as well because that's going to be seen too and if it was an old sign it wouldn't look crisp and clean on the edges, it would look dirty. So that's all I'm doing there just with these two. I'm mixing them together, the, the off um, varnish and there we have it. That's all my, I've left quite a bit of white but dirtied it, really kind of made it dirty around the edges and my decals are all stuck down. So this is being made by Marley. If you like my videos, please, please share them and subscribe. And if you've got any comments, leave them in the comments below. Thank you.